If you were looking for something fun to do this weekend to celebrate Juneteenth, why not check out an historic site in our own backyard? Today we have Betsy Haynes, a park ranger from the Booker T. Washington National Monument, to tell us more. Betsy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us on. Yes, so why should those at home right here in, you know, this area, Southwest Virginia, take their kids to the National Monument? Um, this is a really special place because it's where Booker T. Washington was born and he lived there the first nine years of his life as an enslaved child from 1856 to 1865. And what we have there is the plantation where he lived. We have a farm, so we do have animals. Uh, we have the cabin recreated where he lived and we have different buildings that were there uh, when he lived there reconstructed. There is a mile and a half nature trail and uh, we do have special programs throughout the year and we're probably we're getting ready for our big Juneteenth. <laughs> Absolutely. So talk to us a little bit more about that. Why is that so important to celebrate and to, to you know, bring your kiddos out and to teach them about Juneteenth? Uh, one of the reasons we celebrate Juneteenth, we started 20 years ago. This will be our 20th event. We're having it actually virtual this year and it'll be on sat this Saturday. Um, but usually what we have is a, a, a huge event celebrating the moment of freedom because Booker T. Washington not only was born on this plantation and took his first breath, but he also took his first breath of freedom on this plantation. Yeah. So that's why we've always celebrated Juneteenth. And it's just been a great event, and we're hoping this year is just as great as others, even though it's going to be a virtual event. Absolutely. <laughs> and you hear so often that whenever you make personal connections with history, that it really starts to come alive. And it really sounds like making that personal connection with Booker T. Washington will help you kind of understand what life was like and, and kind of where we've been and where we're going. Yes, walking into that cabin, it, it gives you a feeling of... Uh, a hard feeling of, of what he described in Up From Slavery. He remembered his mother on the day of freedom when she grabbed her children and hugged them and shared tears, uh, just saying she didn't think this moment of freedom would ever come. And so that happened right in this national monument, right here at Booker T. Washington National Monument. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for kind of giving us this history, what you guys have going on, and just filling us in on what we can check out right here in Southwest Virginia uh, to make this connection. And for more information, you can head over to nps.gov slash B-O-W-A. Yes, and uh, if you want to watch our event, it'll be on the YouTube channel on that homepage on Saturday. Thank so you thank so you much. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, Betsy. Thank you.